Well, randomized control trials can really be the gold standard for evidence because of the controlled setting that, that we um, conduct them in. Uh, certainly, there is some issues sometimes with the number of patients studied, the length of time that patients are studied, whether or not the drug was actually compared to active alternatives or placebo. Um, and we know that there can be certainly some issues around just confounding factors that could be not uh, sorted out. And the final thing that I'll say about randomized control trials is that we know that drugs don't act the same in a randomized control trial as they do in the real world. And that's because doctors and patients are not observed, not told what guideline to follow, not told to comply with their medications. And so uh, that certainly uh, allows drugs to be um, performing a little bit better sometimes in the randomized trial environment than what we see in the real world setting. So one way to um, work with real world evidence is to design trials that are more naturalistic in design, um, perhaps a little more observational. Uh, still having some randomization, but also uh, observing the way doctors and patients uh, prescribe and take their medications. And so what you can do is um, combine the strengths of a randomized control and trial environment for the randomization effort, but also the strengths of a naturalistic setting by in implementing things like patient reported outcomes survey instruments, quality of life survey instruments, and other types of uh, claims data sets that can validate uh, the real world evidence uh, is actually showing us this, what we expect from a drug in the real world. Certainly there are uh, pitfalls with observational studies or real world studies and those really need to be um, combined with the strengths of the randomized trial environment in order to give us the best data possible. Some of those pitfalls that we see in the real world setting are that uh, perhaps the patients don't follow the regimen as uh, they're, they're uh, supposed to. Doctors don't prescribe the right regimen according to the evidence. Um, there may be uh, situations where you see um, bundling of claims, unbundling of claims, other types of um, rejects in the claims data that don't necessarily make sense to the researchers. Uh, so we su do see uh, situations with real world evidence studies that uh, can be uh, problematic and the way that you um, sort those out is by using the strengths of the randomized trial environment to add into an outcomes research or observational study environment. It's not about one study, it's about the body of evidence. It's really about all the evidence that supports the value of a product. And what um, we recommend that payers consider is looking at not just the randomized trial data but also filling in the gaps of what comes from randomized trials with observational and naturalistic trial data sets so that they build in additional evidence data points into their overview and overall analysis and evaluation of a product.